Have you ever wondered about the chilling tales of the curse of the pharaohs that have intrigued humanity for centuries? Welcome, friends, to the fascinating world of mysteries and legends, where fact and folklore intertwine. Today, we're about to embark on an extraordinary journey into one of history's most captivating enigmas, the curse of the pharaohs. This curse, as legend has it, is a potent hex cast upon any person who dares to disturb the eternal rest of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh. The curse is said to bring bad luck, illness, or even death. For centuries, this mysterious enchantment has held a significant place in our collective consciousness, sparking both fear and fascination. What could be more thrilling than a tale of ancient kings, their grand tombs filled with unimaginable wealth and a curse to protect it all? This story has all the makings of an epic saga that has gripped the hearts and minds of people across the globe. In the early 20th century, the world was captivated by a series of intriguing incidents that brought this ancient curse into the spotlight. The discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun and the subsequent untimely deaths of several members of the excavation team ignited a global frenzy. The media was ablaze with stories of the Pharaoh's revenge from beyond the grave, and the world was hooked. Since then, the curse of the Pharaohs has woven its way into the fabric of popular culture, inspiring countless books, films, and television shows. This enduring fascination reflects our deep-seated curiosity about the unknown and the thrill of exploring the mysteries of the past. But what is the truth behind this captivating legend? Is there really a curse, or is it all just a product of wild imaginations and sensational headlines? Over the course of this journey, we'll delve into the origins of the curse, examine famous instances, hear from the skeptics, and explore its impact on popular culture. Ready to delve into the mystery, hold on tight as we journey back in time to ancient Egypt. The curse finds its roots deep in the heart of ancient Egyptian civilization. In a time shrouded by the sands of millennia, the ancient Egyptians held a profound reverence for death and the journey that awaited in the afterlife. Death wasn't seen as an end, but a transition, a voyage to another realm. The Egyptians believed that their kings, the pharaohs, were divine beings, their mortal bodies, but vessels for their godlike spirits. In death, they journeyed to the afterlife to continue their reign. To aid in this journey, the pharaohs were buried with their worldly possessions from gold and jewels to food and even servants, all sealed within their magnificent tombs. These tombs, therefore, were sacred spaces, gateways to the eternal. The protection of these tombs was of paramount importance. The ancient Egyptians believed that to disturb these sacred chambers was to disrupt the divine order, to invoke the wrath of the gods. This belief led to the creation of elaborate security measures, physical traps and deterrents to ward off grave robbers, but the most potent protection, it was believed, came from the supernatural, a curse placed upon the tomb. This curse was not just any ordinary hex. It was thought to be a divine sanction, a protective ward inscribed on the tomb's walls, promising doom to those who dared to violate the tomb's sanctity. The violation of these tombs was seen not just as theft, but sacrilege, an affront to the gods themselves. The curse was a warning, a prophecy of doom that promised misfortune, illness, and even death to those who dared to disturb the Pharaoh's eternal rest. This belief was so ingrained in the ancient Egyptian culture that it transcended time, surviving through the ages, long after the last pyramid was built, long after the last Pharaoh was laid to rest. The idea of this curse, this divine retribution, persisted, leaving an indelible mark on the collective consciousness of humanity. So the stage was set for an eternal protection, a curse that would haunt those who dared to disturb the eternal rest of the pharaohs. But what is this curse really? And what does it entail? As we delve deeper into the sands of time, we find ourselves face to face with the enigma that is the pharaoh's curse. Also known as the curse of the pharaohs, it is a supposed hex cast upon any person who disturbs the mummy of an ancient Egyptian, especially a pharaoh. This curse, which does not differentiate between thieves and well-intentioned archaeologists, is claimed to cause bad luck, illness, or even death. In the heart of the ancient tombs, inscriptions were often found 
warning of dire consequences for those who dare to disrupt the eternal slumber of the pharaohs. The inscriptions, often written in hieroglyphics, were explicit in their threats. One such inscription, found in the tomb of the pharaoh Anctifi, warns, any ruler who shall do evil or wickedness to this coffin, may Heman not accept any goods he offers, and may his heir not inherit. The curse is believed to be triggered upon the disruption of the pharaoh's resting place, either by opening the tomb or removing the mummy. The ancient Egyptians held a deep belief in the sanctity of the tomb as the eternal dwelling place of the deceased. They believed that the spirit of the deceased, known as the Ka, remained with the body and needed the body to survive in the afterlife. Disturbing the mummy was seen as an affront to the Ka, triggering the curse. But it wasn't just the physical disturbance of the tomb that could invoke the curse. Even speaking ill of the deceased could bring about the wrath of the Ka. The ancient Egyptians believed in the power of words, and negative words spoken about the pharaoh could disturb his spirit and invoke the curse. The curse was not just a warning, it was a promise of dire consequences. It served as a potent deterrent to grave robbers, and a stark reminder of the reverence the ancient Egyptians held for their dead, particularly their pharaohs. Whether it is real or just a product of superstition and imagination, the Pharaoh's curse continues to intrigue and mystify us to this day. History has recorded several instances where the curse seemed to come alive. Perhaps the most famous case is that surrounding the opening of Tutankhamun's tomb in the year 1922, led by British archaeologist Howard Carter, the expedition unearthed treasures unseen for over 3,000 years, yet it wasn't long before the so-called curse of the Pharaohs began to assert its deadly influence. Lord Carnarvon, the financial backer of the expedition, was the first to be hit. He died in Cairo just a few months after the tomb's opening from a mosquito bite gone wrong. The newspapers were quick to attribute his demise to the curse, sparking a global frenzy. But the curse didn't stop there. Over the next several years, a series of strange events and untimely deaths followed those involved with the tomb. George J. Gould I, a visitor to the tomb, died from a fever. A.C. Mace, a member of Carter's excavation team, also succumbed to a mysterious illness. Even Carter's pet canary was said to have been eaten by a cobra on the day the tomb was opened. In another instance, the Egyptologist Sir Archibald Douglas Reed, who X-rayed Tutankhamun's mummy, died under unclear circumstances. And let's not forget the radiologist who X-rayed the mummy in 1968 and died just a year later. His death was also attributed to the curse. As recently as 2005, a study found that those involved in opening the tomb had a significantly higher mortality rate than their contemporaries. The curse, it seemed, was still at work. In all, more than 20 people linked to the opening of Tutankhamun's tomb died under suspicious or unusual circumstances, and each time the curse of the pharaohs was invoked as the cause. Coincidence or the wrath of the pharaohs, you decide. Not everyone, however, is convinced about the existence of this curse. There are numerous skeptics who question the reality of the pharaoh's curse, attributing the strange happenings to mere coincidence or even self-fulfilling prophecies. They argue that the idea of a curse is simply a romanticized tale born out of our fascination with the ancient world and its mysteries. Scientifically minded individuals often point towards logical explanations for the so-called curse. For instance, consider the case of Lord Carnarvon, who famously died shortly after the opening of Tutankhamun's tomb. Many attribute his death to the curse, but skeptics point to a more likely cause, an infected mosquito bite exacerbated by Lord Carnarvon's already weak health. Furthermore, studies have shown that the majority of those involved in unearthing ancient Egyptian tombs lived relatively long lives, contradicting the idea that they were struck down prematurely by a curse. A survey of the 58 individuals present at the opening of Tutankhamun's burial chamber found that they lived on average to the age of 70, which was quite a ripe old age for the early 20th century. Skeptics also point to the psychology of belief in curses. The human mind is prone to seeing patterns where none exist, a phenomenon known as apophenia. This means that if we believe in a curse, we're more likely to connect unrelated negative events and attribute them to the curse, thus reinforcing our belief. Another scientific explanation is the presence of toxic molds and bacteria in the tombs. 
These microorganisms can cause serious respiratory illnesses, which might have been interpreted as the effects of a curse in the past. Despite these skeptical views, the allure of the Pharaoh's curse persists. After all, who doesn't love a good mystery steeped in the sands of time and shrouded by the mists of the unknown? So, is the curse just a figment of our imagination, spurred by our love for a good mystery? The curse has found its way into our books, movies, and even video games. And how could it not? The allure of ancient Egypt with its grand pyramids and enigmatic hieroglyphs is irresistible. But it's the Pharaoh's curse that truly captures our collective imagination, stirring up a potent mix of fear and fascination. Consider the books. From H.P. Lovecraft's Under the Pyramids, a haunting tale of a man's encounter with ancient and unspeakable horrors, to Elizabeth Peters' Amelia Peabody series, which blends archaeology adventure and a dash of the supernatural, the curse has played a leading role. It's a plot device that never gets old, tapping into our deepest anxieties about the unknown. Then there are the movies. Who can forget the chilling scenes in The Mummy, where the curse manifests as a living, breathing entity, wreaking havoc on those who dare to disturb the Pharaoh's rest. Or the Indiana Jones series, where the curse sets the stage for thrilling adventures and narrow escapes. These films have brought the curse to life in vivid, often terrifying detail. And let's not forget video games. Titles like Tomb Raider and Assassin's Creed Origins have used the curse as a backdrop for immersive gameplay. Players navigate labyrinthine tombs and decipher cryptic puzzles, all the while under the ominous shadow of the curse. It's an element that heightens the stakes and adds an extra layer of suspense. In all these mediums, the Pharaoh's curse serves a dual purpose. It's a narrative tool that drives the plot and shapes character arcs but it also reflects our enduring fascination with ancient Egypt. We're drawn to its mysteries, its treasures, and yes, its curses. We revel in the thrill of the chase, the danger of the unknown, the promise of undiscovered secrets. The curse, it seems, continues to haunt us, albeit in a different form. It's a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and our insatiable curiosity about the past. Whether we're flipping through pages, watching on the big screen, or holding a controller in our hands, the Pharaoh's curse continues to captivate us, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. The curse of the Pharaohs, real or not, has left an indelible mark on our world. This ancient enigma, shrouded in mystery and imbued with a sense of the supernatural, has profoundly influenced our perception of Egypt's ancient civilization. It has painted a picture of a time long past, filled with power, grandeur, and a deep reverence for the afterlife, where pharaohs were not mere rulers, but god-kings, wielding divine authority. The curse has played a significant role in shaping our understanding and fascination with Egyptology. It has sparked a global interest, a curiosity, a desire to delve deeper into the sands of time and unravel the secrets of the pharaohs. From the pyramids of Giza to the Valley of the Kings, each site, each artifact, each glyph carries with it a hint of the curse, a whisper of the Pharaoh's wrath awaiting those who dare disturb their eternal slumber. But the impact of the curse extends far beyond academic circles. It has seeped into our collective consciousness, into our art, our literature, and even our everyday conversations. It has become a symbol of the unknown, of the dangers that lurk when we tamper with things best left undisturbed. It is a timeless tale, a cautionary narrative that warns of the consequences of hubris and disrespect for the sacred. In a world increasingly dominated by science and reason, the enduring allure of the Pharaoh's curse is a testament to our love for the mysterious, the unexplained, the supernatural. It serves as a reminder that there are still corners of our world that defy rational explanation that there are still stories that capture our imagination, that make us wonder, and that fill us with awe. The curse, it appears, has not just survived, but thrived, crossing the boundaries of time and geography. It has become a part of our cultural heritage, a story that continues to captivate us, a story that we pass on from generation to generation, keeping the memory of the pharaohs alive, keeping the mystery of the curse burning. And as long as that flame continues to flicker, as long as there are still secrets to uncover, the Pharaoh's curse will live on, forever etched in the annals of our history. So where do we stand on the curse of the Pharaohs? 
It's a question that has intrigued minds for centuries. We've peeled back the layers of mystery, traced the origins of the curse and defined its ominous implications. We've revisited famous instances where the curse seemingly struck its victims and even heard from the skeptics who discount its existence. We've seen how the curse of the pharaohs has left its mark on popular culture and reflected on the lasting impact it has had on our collective psyche. However, when it comes to an absolute verdict, the jury is still out. Some of you might be believers, captivated by the allure of the ancient curse. Others might remain skeptical, looking for tangible proof in a world governed by science and logic. Whether you believe in the curse of the pharaohs or not, one thing is certain, it's a tale that continues to captivate centuries after it was first spoken of.